each of the volunteers and interns and staff share about their college experience a little bit. Because I want you guys to see, uh, like these two are still in college right now, so they have a fresher, you know, they were talking about something called Blackboard that I never even thought oh, about in my lifetime. So they might be more helpful in that regard. And then uh, Rachel, Rachel and myself have been out of college for a little while, and so um, we can share a little bit about how college helped us with our job search and that kind of thing. So I'll go first. I went to MTSU in Murfreesboro. I got my bachelor's degree, which is a four-year degree, and I double majored in cultural anthropology and human evolution. That's basically the study of cultures. Um, that's why I like to work with international groups, because I learned a lot about just all the different cultures and why they do things that they do and how that like, functions and all those fun things. And then I also majored in Spanish, so like foreign languages, basically. So, and since then, um, immediately after college, I didn't get a full-time job right here you know, at Coral Gables. I spent a year traveling to learn language and just get experience with multiple different cuisines. And then when I came back home, I was looking for a job. Um, and I heard about Coral Gables because I taught some ESL classes at the time here. And so I was looking every day on the Coral Gables website, like, I want to work at Coral but it probably took me six months before I got a job. So, you know, after college, I kind of worked two part-time jobs. Worked at a daycare, and then I worked doing like administrative stuff for a bunch of jobs. So that's just like answering the phone and making coffee and cleaning up the walls and that sort of thing. Um, so it's a little bit. I think sometimes when I was under the impression that you'll go to college and then immediately after college you'll have the best free job that you've ever. I wanted to share in my, my situation. I took a little time to kind of figure out. I knew I had this degree, but I still didn't know exactly what job I wanted. I spent just endless time looking online, talking with friends. And so World Belief was a really good fit because um, I worked with a few different cultures, few different languages, and I started as a caseworker. I think, yeah, Janine is the only one here, but I was a caseworker at the time at Coral Gables. And then afterwards, I switched to Journey because I like. So I went to the college called Iowa State University. It has about 30,000 students. And so, like Victor was saying earlier, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to get from one building to another building. Um, but it wasn't that hard to learn where to go and do whatever I wanted because there are so many different people and cultures along the way. And every day I was on campus, the campus felt smaller and smaller because I was getting more familiar with it. Um, so I changed my major a lot. I started in engineering because that's what my family wanted me to do. But as I started doing more engineering, I said, I will be very unhappy in this career field because it's not something that I was really passionate about. I was in it for the money. And so it didn't make sense the more and more that I learned about engineering for me to continue doing it. Um, and so I changed my major. And I actually changed my major about four or five times. Um, and every time I changed it, closer and closer to what I actually wanted to do, which is work with refugee kids. And so along the way, because I studied so many different things, I also learned some alignments. How many of you have heard of alignments? Okay. So you have a major, which is the main thing that you want to study. And then a minor is less classes in a different area. And so my major was called Child Adult social work major under a different name. And so that's what I studied. I studied how do I serve people in my community? How do I help families when they have a lot of stress, maybe through divorce or abuse or resettlement, whatever it is, that's what I was studying. Um, and then on the side, I was also studying Spanish, psychology, and linguistics. And so when I graduated, I had three minors, mostly because I was a nerd and I really loved studying. Um, but those were all areas that I really was interested in. Um, and then I found out later that I could use all of those things to serve my refugee community um, using all four areas of study. And so while I didn't know that I was going to be doing that, I believe that God was saying, come on, go ahead and study that because it's really beautiful there. And so um, a little different than 
tell you a story. When I uh, got out of school, I needed an internship, uh, and so I, I interned here for the professional. And then as I was um, interning here, um, I kind of realized that I was getting really, really connected with all, all of the training students, and I was like, you know what, I could do this every day. This is a job that I would not get tired of. And so then I started asking around, seeing if there were job openings, was a job opening, and so for me, I felt like I got my dream job right out of college. Um, now dreams change and dreams evolve, but right now I'm very content to move in my own speed. Um, my name is Rachel Saliba. I teach at Smyrna High School. Um, I went to UT Knoxville, and I got my bachelor's degree in English. Um, I knew that I wanted to be a teacher. So when you go into teaching, you kind of choose what you want to teach, and generally that's going to be your major. And I knew I wanted to teach English, so that was my major. And then I had a minor um, in education. So um, I, too, changed my major, actually, a couple of times. When I first started at UT, I thought I wanted to be a pharmacist because I worked at a pharmacy through high school, and I thought, oh, this will be fine. This will be, I have this. I don't know how to count these pills, and this will be fine. And then I took the science classes, and I took the math classes, and I said, no, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so then I changed it to business. I don't know why. Um, I changed it to business, and then I um, realized that, no, this is not, this is not for me. So. Then that's, I say, towards the end of my sophomore year is when I decided that um, I wanted to be a teacher. I had a really good teacher um, when I was in high school, my senior English teacher, and I kept in contact with her, and I said, what do you want to do? So um, <laughs> that was my goal. So um, I then completed that bachelor's degree in four years in English, a minor in education. And then UT Knoxville is set up kind of where you, you do your undergraduate, which is the bachelor's degree, and then you can continue straight through to get your master's. So what I did after I graduated in May with my bachelor's, um, that summer I took a lot of classes, and they're master's level classes, which are harder than the bachelor's classes. So I took a lot of classes that summer, Next year, I did an internship where I was teaching at a school um, outside of Knoxville, and I taught all year there for free. <laughs> did not get paid. Um, so, but that allowed me to then um, work with another teacher who um, had been teaching for a long time. In fact, she was about to retire from that. I got to do a lot of teaching. Um, and then after that, I had my so after that, um, I got a job immediately um, in teaching. It's generally it's pretty easy to find a job. Um, I moved to Savannah, Georgia for a year, and I taught there. Um, and then I moved to Asheville, North Carolina. I moved around a little bit after college um, and did something completely different, and I worked for a nonprofit in Asheville. And then I moved back from here. From Mount Juliet. Does anybody know where that is outside of Nashville? That's where I grew up. Um, but then I got a job at Smyrna High School and um, I was there for 11 years. It's Woo! my 11th year there. So, um, and two, I've just started teaching some ESL classes and, you know, I think it's, it just proves that, like, that is my passion and even though I've been teaching for 11 years, really figure out where you belong and what you're supposed to be doing. So. I'm, I'm Nancy, and I went to um, Liberty University, which is in Virginia. I know, I have to start with Virginia. Yeah. Um, and um, I studied worship and music studies, specializing in intercultural studies. So I had my major, and my specializations are kind of like minors, but um, they are more were worship classes, but also intercultural studies classes because you could specialize in different things with my major, so you could choose different areas of that major that you wanted to work in. Um, so that's the difference. Um, and then after college, I was offered a job um, for my college that would pay. 
to my degree is a two year degree. Uh, and so I got a job right off of graduating and I worked for my school. Um, and so I did my master's degree in global studies. Um, and that's why this is the last thing I have to do before I get my degree um, in my internship. And after that, I am not an internship because everything is unsure. But eventually, <laughs> She's going to go pick up lunch now. We'll have a few more. All right, and I'm Amber, and I'm the closest, I think, in age to where you guys are all at right now. So I'm going to be a senior at Belmont. So I'm still in my undergrad, um, which is what I think I'm going to do. So I'm studying social work, and I was one of the very few students that knew what I wanted to major in when I went to college. The reason I came to Nashville was that they wanted to with kids. Exactly what that meant, but I wanted to do it. So, did social work at Belmont, and I'm doing it. I'm a senior, and it's scary, but then I'm going to go get my master's degree so that I can actually do casework. I think I can go with social workers. Um, and I always wanted to work with foster kids. Do you know what foster care is? Some of you, yeah. So, I always wanted to work with foster kids, but now I have this crazy passion for refugees and international. I don't know, you guys just changed my mind. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, but that is kind of where I'm at. So it all goes to show you love something and you go to some direction and then turn around and go somewhere else and keep following what you think you like and you'll find it. I do that to show you guys that I know for me, when I was in, going into college, I thought you have to know what you want to do. Like some kids do, that when they're young, they want to be a doctor, they go to and they want to study medical, they get their doctorate, and then they're a doctor. And that, that works for some people, but I just want you guys to know that it's really normal if you're questioning things, or even if I have a roommate that just graduated college with a degree in communications, and she spent two or three years after college still kind of trying to decide what kind of job she wanted. So I just wanted to encourage you guys that you don't have to know, you just figure it out as you 